The mean streets of Philadelphia, daily disappointments and missed opportunities. Life can be a struggle when you have limited choices. Some days, you dare not dream about breaking the cycle. But at the Urban Youth Racing School, there lies an oasis of hope and possibility. The Urban Youth Racing School, where dreams make anything possible. The Urban Youth Racing School is a nonprofit organization formed to give disadvantaged inner city children an opportunity to enhance their education and life skills. At this one of a kind school, children ages 8 to 18 are exposed to the automotive and motorsports industry. Anthony Martin is the founder of Urban Youth Racing School. He grew up in West Philadelphia and had a vision for a better future. We are presently in, in West Philadelphia right now. This is where the Urban Youth Racing School started in 1998. 90% of our kids actually came from this actual neighborhood here. And the building about a block down is where we actually had our original offices were located at. We're in South Philadelphia right now. This is uh, 20th and Tasker Street here. Over here, two days ago, a young kid was actually shot and killed. This is a strong drug area. This is a drug infested neighborhood right here. This is actually a mural of uh, a lot of the kids have been killed in the neighborhood over the recent year, year and a half. They can get lost in life by the neighborhoods that they're growing up in. The reason why I wanted to start the racing school was to introduce urban youth to the sport of racing as a possible career opportunity. And I knew there was a lot of jobs in the racing field that were available to urban kids, they just didn't know it. Anthony and I met a couple years ago. He was uh, searching for sponsors for the Urban Youth Racing School. Craftsman, as the official tools of NASCAR, uh, and the title sponsor of NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series, seemed like a natural fit. It was about really providing uh, young people, young inner city youth, with alternative means to being on street corners. You don't have to be a drug dealer. Just because you're here, you come from here, doesn't mean that your mentality should be that way, doesn't mean that you don't have to strive for anything. When I saw that there was someone in an inner city community trying to help young people build dreams, enter the motorsports arena, uh, that intrigued me. We went down earlier today to uh, South Philly, to uh, one, of the, one of the neighborhoods traditionally has a you know, higher crime rate, and uh, Anthony took us down there. It's interesting, he says that's where he gets most of his kids from, the kids that are high risk. Just wonderful kids, they love this program. It's very impressive what he's doing here. The Urban Racing School represents opportunity they wouldn't get anywhere else or any other program as far as being involved in the motorsports world. What the school does is give these young people a chance to realize their dreams. Their dreams may not be to become a, a race car driver. Their dreams may be getting out of those neighborhoods and off those streets. For a sport whose colors are black and white, sometimes incorporating diversity into the racing world wasn't that simple. Until recently, minorities had a hard time breaking into the tight-knit world of motorsports. And today, minorities are still underrepresented in the sport. But the Urban Youth Racing School is helping to diversify the landscape of this long-established industry. I think um, racing is, is a tradition. And sometimes with traditional things, new people that come into it, African Americans, um, Latinos, usually they're left out of that tradition. NASCAR is an American sport and we want, to, you know, we want to look like America. I found it interesting that this was the only sport that I had not touched and the only sport that, quite frankly, African Americans and minorities overall didn't really have an entry point for. If uh, there's a child who's interested in, in racing, there's a child who's interested in being a mechanic, being an engineer or whatever it might be, the racing school gives him that opportunity because the racing school itself has relationships with a lot of the racing teams as well as a sanctioning by like NASCAR, we have a relationship with NASCAR too. These students, especially the ones that make it to the advanced level, um, are a great feeder system for potential uh, pit crew members and certainly for, for the driver pool. This is an entree, a learning opportunity for them to become more educated about the jobs as well as some of the other possibilities that motorsports can provide. The students attending the Urban Youth Racing School today are the superstars in NASCAR of tomorrow. 
With access to the unique opportunity that the Urban Youth Racing School provides, there is little doubt the audience for motorsports will soon better reflect the broader American demographic. The Urban Youth Racing School has had over 800 children go through their 10-week Build a Dream program since they opened in 1998, with children coming from as far away as Virginia and Connecticut to attend. Currently, there are over 1,000 kids on the waiting list for enrollment, but that doesn't stop Anthony Martin from continuing to spread the word. Without further ado, let me introduce to you Mr. Anthony Martin. <laughs> Um, hi, my name is Anthony Martin, and I'm here to tell you today that there are so many job opportunities in racing that you just don't know about that are out there for you. I don't know if you know, but in racing, there's 12 jobs that go along with the sport itself. You don't have to be a race car driver. You could be an engineer. You could be a tire changer and make 80 grand a year changing tires. You can be a mechanic, make $250,000 a year. Well, I think a school like this definitely opens up possibilities. With children, I think that education is important, but exposure to different things is important as well. When you're inner city, the only motorsports that you get is a drag strip. Late at night, one o'clock in the morning, you cut off the streets, <laughs> the cops are, you know, you're running from the cops, that's all they know. There are so many jobs, so many uh, areas of exposure which these young people don't know, unless Craftsman and the Urban Youth Racing School provide these young people access. So when they come into the program, they just want to drive go-karts. Then after they do the first five weeks, they're understanding all the different jobs that are within it. And it's just a whole new world. It really blows them away. Not only them, but their parents. Their parents are like, whoa, where was this program when I was little? A lot of parents will come in and sit in on class with their kids. We're just as excited as the kids are to learn about NASCAR, to learn about racing. I've grown up uh, watching Richard Petty with my father, but it was never even an option in my head that I could get involved in it, even though my father loved it. Well, now I give my kids, and Anthony's given my kids an opportunity to do some of the things that I wanted to do, and to maybe get into racing. They never see their kind, and you know, right. we're African American, and we really don't see as many right. in that car. So my exactly. son asked me, said, can we do that? I said, yes, you can. It's a great opportunity and a great vehicle to show kids uh, the power of motorsports, and that it's an alternative sport to basketball, football, or anything else. It's not um, a favor you're doing anyone. It really, opportunity I think is really the basics that anyone needs to, to succeed. You can't show me what you got unless you, you have an opportunity to be there doing it. Three volunteers. The first five weeks of the Urban Youth Racing School curriculum teaches them about the rules of competition and safety. We learn the technical terms and the flag commands. I thought driving was easy, like playing a video game. I didn't know you had to know the terms, where to turn at. The reason the Apex is so important is because... You learn about flags, you learn about Apex, you learn about handling, braking, uh, the gas. Before you get in the car, you gotta learn about the car. You gotta learn everything inside of it, everything outside. Because you want them to understand that education is the most important thing here. Your grades in the school are more important than your grades are here at the racing school. Your grades in school are more important than you actually race on a, on a racetrack finishing in first place. After you finish your test, we'll review them. Racing is the carrot that we dangle at the end of the rainbow. We say, hey, you want to race with us? You can do that, but here's what you have to do before you can race. And that's where the five weeks of classroom comes in. The Urban Youth Racing School motivates students to excel with help from corporate sponsor Xbox and the Xbox Points Championship Award. This is for the Xbox Points Championship at the end of the year. They get points for tests and essays, attendance, projects, which is the Build Your Own Team project. Behavior, behavior is really big with me. The Go-Kart Center, this is where they first start learning how to drive and last but definitely not least, which is the greatest, is the school grades. And then here you have the total. I won a trophy back in April. It's done so much for me. It actually helped me get my school grades up because I wanted that trophy. And I actually got all A's in one B. I do a lot of the curriculum. I try to find ways to motivate the kids and find things that'll be interesting. This fellow right here is a NASCAR official. With every class, we have a guest speaker. And they learn about the industry and how the industry operates, the business behind the racing. These projects are, are build your own team projects. 
and we teach them everything that a racing team does. You become the team owner. You have to tell me who your sponsors are gonna be, how you're gonna market yourself. Um, I was putting Oprah as a sponsor, and my mom said, if I really like it, racing, um, we can try and send a letter to her and um, talk to her. My daughter leans more towards the designing of an automobile and my son towards the racing, which is great because now when they watch television, they notice all the different jobs that they're available. Good year. Good year. I learned a lot of the sponsors, like Coca-Cola, McDonald's. I didn't know there were so many sponsors and all the uh, job opportunities in the NASCAR. You've got a whole group of people who help put the race on at the track. The guy was talking about all the job opportunities, and he came up with about 500 jobs in NASCAR. So it's a slight chance that you're going to become a driver, a very small chance, but there's a bigger chance of you becoming something else in NASCAR. I want to be involved with NASCAR. That's it. Um, driving is the number one, but if I can't be a driver, I would love to be a tire changer, part of the pit crew, uh, be a body fabricator, an engineer, an engine maker. You know, as long as I'm involved with the sport, I'll be happy. When you get to drive, there's nothing like it. The first time, I actually wasn't scared at all. I had no nervousness. I don't know how fast you can go, but you can go pretty fast. There's six different speeds. I kind of wanted to race a because I, I can't drive until like 18. So I went to race cars and I heard it was going like 70 miles per hour. So I kind of got excited about that. The cars, I, I like racing. I live for racing and that's it. I like the noise, the power, the smell, everything. And you're pushing. It sounds like vroom, vroom. Sort of like a motorcycle and a tractor trailer mix that went like vroom. The days I'm at the track, I'm very serious. You'll never see me more serious anywhere else. When I'm on the track, you know, I'm just trying to go faster each and every lap. I try to be in my own little world. I'm in the zone. When I'm behind the wheel and I'm driving, it's like an adrenaline rush. I can feel blood pumping through my veins and stuff. I feel joy and I just feel happy when I'm in the car. My nephews are having a really good time here. Um, my nephew Kobe and my nephew Dante. They really love it. They're fascinated about it. They really want to learn everything there's to know about NASCAR. Can you name all the drivers in NASCAR? I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. 14 is Larry Foyt, the number 20, Tony Stewart, 21, Ricky Rudd, 22, Ward Byrne, 23. My favorite driver is uh, Ricky Rudd, because he's quiet and laid back, a little bit like myself. I like Jeff Gordon, because he's a, a pretty aggressive driver. Michael Watcher. He's very funny. He's Dell and her teammate, so, you know, I root for both of them on Sundays. My favorite driver is Jeff Gordon. DuPont 24. I met him a couple weeks ago. That was really cool. We met a couple drivers, me and about 15 other kids. We went down to Dover. Tori Claiborne was giving us a tour. We went to Sears first and we were introduced and we got to shake everyone's hands before the drivers were introduced. I got to meet professional drivers. We met Joe Gibbs. We were in the hot pits and he let us up on his uh, crew chief thingy. That was real cool. And we felt it was, it felt actually good. We were getting some special treatment. I actually worked with the pit crew during the whole week prior to the race. And then on Friday, we went down to the track to watch the race. And I worked with the pit crew during the race and before the race. So I had a good experience and I just had a great time. Auto racing has an overwhelming growing popularity among urban youth today. And the Urban Youth Racing School program is generating hundreds of NASCAR fans annually. Corporate sponsorship is crucial to taking the sport to a level it's never been before. There are tremendous business opportunities in this ever-increasing market.